What's up guys, so today I just want to make a quick video showing how to get around the TPM 2.0 requirement for Windows 11. Now before we do anything and you are considering downloading Windows 11, um, if you uh, before the 5th of October then you will need to go through the Windows Inside program unless you can download the ISO file through a another source. But let's say we're upgrading through Windows 10. Um, first off, you want to go to this website here, which the link will be in the description. You want to scroll down, and where it says register, you want to register with your Windows account that is um, that you're logged into Windows on. So once you've registered for that, you'll get this option here uh, for open settings. But we don't need to click that yet. We need to um, look at our PC requirements. So at the moment, I am on a very old PC that does not have TPM 2.0 uh, enabled. If you've got a newer PC, then you can just enable it in the BIOS, um, depending on your motherboard. But older motherboards, you're pretty much out of luck. But you can download this PC Health Check um, app. This is directly from Windows. And this will do a quick check to tell you um, what you're uh, missing for your requirements. So if you scroll down on here, you can see uh, all the requirements. Uh, unfortunately, my processor doesn't um, isn't supported, even though this is a Sandy Bridge CPU, which I thought would would be allowed. Um, we can see here our TPM. Um, uh, we have no TPM um, support on our PC. So to get around this, um, we want to go over to this website here, GitHub, and thank you to this great man here. We have this bit of code, so we can copy this and we can open it in uh, Notepad++, so Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, then go ahead and download it on the internet. So, copy the code into here, and we want to save as uh, desktop, and save it as this file here, as a batch file. Okay, so once you've done that, we will have this file here on the desktop. Now, if you click this, it will open in so double click and it will open a PowerShell um, window. So you click yes and it will do it automatically. So we can see now that the Skip TV Emitter is installed. Now if you want to reverse this, so you just want to go back to normal, then run it again and it will say uh, removed. So that's it. That's all we need to do for the check. Now if we go back to our PC health check and we do the check, we will still see that TPM uh, is uh, amber so not supported however um, that's because this is picking up the hardware um, but that check thing that we just did basically just does a windows level so it sort of bypasses the windows check okay so once you've done this we want to go back to our windows insider and we want to open the settings for our windows insider program now here there is a, um, a button right here you need to click for get started so you click that one and there'll be a few options on there you need to just go through um, basically asking if you want the de developer build or early adoption build so you just click OK and you'll do a restart and once the restart's complete you'll come back and you'll have this here so at the moment mine does not work because my CPU is not um, supported uh, but at least now the TPM requirement um, the TPM 2.0 isn't, isn't required so Okay, so once you've enabled that batch file, you want to go ahead, you want to go over to uh, Windows Update, and you should see the Windows 11 build uh, displayed here. Okay, so after I'd done the update to the latest version of Windows 10, um, I could then see um, in the Windows Update the um, option to download the Windows 11 Insider Preview. So it's the pre-release version of the Windows 11. This is the same version that will be released on the um, on the 5th. So it looks like the patch did work. So it did bypass our requirements, not only for our CPU, um, but also for our TPM uh, 2.0 uh, requirement. So um, hopefully this uh, video has helped you guys. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments if it's worked for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.